Alright guys, welcome to the smarthelping.com Excel model overview for the week. And what is going on today? Well, this was a model for compounding interest over a dynamic range given a dynamic interest rate over time. The main use of this is going to be for anybody that wants to know, given a certain starting balance owed and changing interest rates, now this is the risk-free rates over time, so you can see obviously in the 80s it was higher, 8% in 1990, slowly gone down, 2012 was actually below a percent now it's up to 1.34 percent as of July of 2016 so these can change as it goes through time and those those dates and relative interest rates are picked up in our calculation the bottom uh, line of the calculation is you enter a date range and a weekly rate the amount owed calculates this could be a different source of the calculation but you have a, a certain amount that's owed and you have interest that accrues on that balance over time. Assuming this is assuming um, the balance is never paid down, and you're just calculating a compounding rate, annual rate. So you can see 365.24 exact days and year. And this is built to handle um, a compounding from one year and further. If you go down to like six compounding six months or one month or any day below 365.24, it's not going to work. And that's just because this daily or this balance calculation, you can see how long it is. And that's set up for 20 years annually compounding. Now, if I wanted to set up for monthly compounding, I'd have to make this formula 12 times longer. And it's just not worth it for any use of this. I mean, six months is probably the most compounding you know periods I'd have to use in a year which then I'd have to double the formula but right now is that for 365 you could make it bigger Let's say I wanted to compound every 500 days that lowers the interest slightly by like ten dollars but you could see this balance now doesn't change until day 500 so you can start at any day it's not based on any set date range meaning it's unique to any case that has any start date and end date which is why it's so useful and the logic is so difficult so you see day 500 there we are and look at that we see a change from 19,000 now it's compounding after 500 days new balance 20,405 and so that's saying the interest will not start raising I mean, taking into account the accrued interest on the balance until after 500 days. Then it'll compound and compound and compound. Um, you got your daily interest rate here and your daily interest calculation. Because that's the only way to really get a true, uh, easy explainable and true number with the functionality. So you enter start dates, end dates, you get a comp amount and this will then automatically calculate the interest based on moving interest rates through time and compounding annually or more this thing took me I don't know maybe 10 total hours of work so not too bad um, the main use is workers compensation so I mean it's not like a regular consumer uh, type use but you know it could be useful to companies, small businesses that want to calculate a value of interest accrued based on a standardized interest rate in the US over time that, you know, you could say, well, what interest rate are you going to use to calculate who owes what? Well, if you just go to the default, this is what it was, um, you know, in the United States at a given period that's standardized. Um, you can see in 2007 it was at about almost 5%. It's come down to almost a fifth of that. We'll probably end up 
Who knows what's going to happen? Interest rates are, you know, can move. Anyway, that's what the model does. It's pretty complex, but the user face interface is real simple. You just enter your dates, you get your amount you're trying to figure out interest accrual on, and it calculates it for you. And gives you the total balance. Uh, now I like I am feeling the most fair thing to do is is charge one quarter of what this originally cost my client to have, which in this case was two hundred bucks. So we're gonna put a price tag on this thing of fifty dollars, and it's probably gonna be you know. I'm not looking to make a lot of money on that one-time fee, but I think the reason why you know I even do these models is because I think if you really want to use it for your business or whatever use, it'll probably need to be modified. And in that case, um, you know, I'll charge you any time that I have to go through and add additions or or what have you to it to make it work for you. That's when we get into an hourly rate which you'll find at smarthelping.com what my hourly, hourly rate is and I will say that I include five free hours of help with every model so you won't well not with every I think I did a couple at three hours but for this one I'll do five which means if you purchase it for fifty dollars I'm giving you five hours of help or modifications or however you want which is really I think that's gonna be closer to two hundred dollar value of service labor on my end that I'm giving up for the potential long-term you know client anyway that's just one of the things I've done this week that I think was worth um, sharing and maybe it will help you tackle the same problem of how do you dynamically build a model to calculate this quickly that so you don't have to do manual calculations and it reduces human error and this does go out for a maximum of 20 years or 20 compounding periods I guess you could say alright that's all I got for you I'll see you next week we'll see if I can think of um, something new and innovative to share